Guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking apart my oven. We're going to be uh, sending off the two relay boards for both the upper and lower oven, as well as the control board. Uh, the reason being is uh, we're getting an F1 and an F0 code, and the oven wouldn't turn off the other day when we were using it. But before we do that, there's a couple things uh, we need to do. We're going to be taking off the doors, uh, as well as I made a little stand to support the oven while we have it pulled out. So that we can uh, safely remove all the parts. So let me get everything situated. I'll be right back. All right, to remove the oven door, open your oven door. There are two little clips that lock in place. So lock it out. And then slightly tilt up and out. And there you go. It comes right out. All right, folks. I uh, have the breaker turned off for the oven. I have both doors removed. Now we're simply gonna pull the oven out, set it on the stand to keep it stable so that we can uh, work on the oven to remove the two relay board and the control boards. So for this part of pulling out the oven, it helps to have a second person. What we're simply gonna do is just lift a little bit and just slide it on out. All right, now that we have the oven securely supported and pulled out, we have to remove this cover that uh, the boards are, are retained under. There are six 516 hex head screws, two on top, two on the left, two on the right, and then we also have two Phillips heads that we need to remove. So let me get through with that. I'll be right back. We just found out that there is actually a seventh 516th hex head screw just on the right side on the on the back of the cover. So we'll take that off and we'll get this cover off. All right, guys, so I got everything uh, unhooked. I got the oven control board removed and the two relay boards removed as well. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, basically, just pull them off as, as they are. Take a picture before you uh, start removing things. To, that way you can reconnect things once you receive the boards back from repair. One thing I will say, before you even think about taking things apart, go online and order uh, these little clips uh, that hold the boards down. They will inevitably snap because just time. The part number for it is Decor 83538. It's called the PCB Support Clips. And like I had a couple that were already broken without me even removing the board. As soon as I pulled out the oven, I saw that this couple of the clips were already broken. But yeah, just take a pair of needle nose pliers, squeeze them together gently. Don't be an 800 pound gorilla and manhandle this, these things. Be gentle with them. And it should come, uh, the board should just re release from the clips. And then as far as these wires, they pull off needle nose pliers as well i would try just pulling them off with your hands first if it doesn't come off easily then use the needle nose makes it a lot easier so ensure that you won't uh break anything but pretty straightforward all right folks i thought about coming uh removing the clips from underneath uh but i there's some spots where you could not reach it so i, I came up from the top and removed the four 516 screws that were on this panel this allowed me to lift the board out ever so slightly. But you have to be careful because there's a little grommet there with wires hooked up. So I can just remove that out of the way. That one's, that grommet doesn't come off so easily, but the wires are hooked up to it. So you just lift the board up ever so slightly and it, it allow you enough room to unclip it. So let me get these clips off and I'll be back.
All right, wanted to give a quick shout out to Circuit Board Medic for the quick turnaround on these boards. Uh, not only did they come with a two-year warranty for their service of the repairs, uh, I, sh I shipped off the boards to them Tuesday. The boards were returned to me at my doorsteps by Friday morning. Once again, good job, Circuit Board Medics. Okay, folks, before we uh, reinstall the relay boards, I am going to change out the clips that support the relay boards. Uh, on my oven, the clips that were on there looked kind of brittle. Some were already broken. And I'm pretty sure once we attempt to reinstall the relay boards, it will break even more. So here's the part number for these little clips. DC83538, and there is 19 of them for my oven, which is the CPS227. And you can get these online for anywhere from like a dollar to dollar fifty a piece. So they're you know readily available. Don't pay. There's some sites that were charging upwards of seven dollars a piece for them. So don't go to those websites. I, I believe I bought mine from uh, RepairClinic.com. So you can get those on the cheap from them. All right, now that we got the clips back onto the panel, we have to reinstall the uh, four. 516 screws. Okay, to reinsert the door, basically at an angle, slight angle, slide it in, all the way in, and bring it back down, and undo the clip on both sides, and you are set.